Welcome to Oakmore School and a virtual tour that we've put together, especially for students who will be joining us for the first time in September and for their parents and carers. I'm Mr Hemmings and for the next 10 minutes or so, I'll be taking you on a guided tour around our amazing site. We begin our journey in the reception area. This is where parents and carers would arrive if they were attending school for a meeting or if they were dropping something off for their children. Usually it's staffed by our friendly reception team, but as we're recording this during the country's lockdown, the office is closed and the phones are being answered elsewhere around the school. This is our courtyard area. This is where you would spend time before the first bell of the day goes as you arrive in school and where you'd enjoy time at breaks and lunchtime with your friends, either standing and chatting or using some of the seating areas, some of which is covered for when the weather is not as nice, but you still want to get some fresh air. We're now panning across some of our sports facilities. The grey area is our multi-use games area. It's set up for basketball, for tennis and for netball. And here as we move across, you can see our AstroTurf pitch, which is predominantly used for football. And both those spaces are used during PE lessons and for fixtures after school as well and extracurricular clubs. These are the other playing fields. There are three or four other pitches that are going to be marked out in that area. And of course, it also serves as our athletics track. There you can see our four buildings and the courtyard in the middle where we began our journey around the school. We now make our way into the north building and on the ground floor on the left hand side is our learning resource centre. Now normally this is a really vibrant and engaging learning space. It's been fitted out with great soft furnishings and different mini zones making it a superb place to enjoy reading the vast selection of books that we usually have available in here. But as you can see, those soft furnishings and all of our bookshelves have been removed to make way for tables and chairs because during lockdown, we've been using this area for our provision for the children of key workers. And the desks need to be a significant distance apart so we keep our students as safe as possible. But when you return in September, you'll be able to see this area as it should be used and your teachers are able to book this area for lessons as well as you being able to use them before school, during breaks and lunch times and after school as well. Now just to the side of the Learning Resource Centre is one of the Computer Science Suites. Computer Science is a subject that you will do in Year 7 and 8 and as you move into Key Stage 4 and the Option subjects you have the chance to choose either ICT or computer science as one of your option subjects at GCSE. This is one of our food preparation and nutrition suites and as you can see it's been fitted out with brand new equipment. I'm always really impressed when I come into this room during lesson time at how adventurous some of the dishes are and how advanced the students' skills are so parents and carers, prepare for some exciting meal times ahead in September. This is the design and technology practical suite with all the exciting new equipment around the outside for students to learn how to use. And in this subject, you will take your own ideas from design stage all the way through to completion, either making them yourself or using technology to get the 3D printer to create them for you. So parents and carers, as well as the exciting meal times that you'll get as a result of the food lessons, also prepare yourselves for some very exciting Christmas gifts in the next few years. As we make our way onto the first floor of the North Building, we find the English department. This is one of the English classrooms, and as you can see, the displays are really engaging up here. And the texts that the English department choose for you to read are deliberately chosen to make year seven and eight as engaging as possible. And whilst at GCSE, the choice of books is limited by the choice that the examination board give us, we make sure that we choose the texts carefully for you. 
The North Building first floor is also home of our mathematics department and we're in one of their classrooms here and as you'll see the displays that the mathematics department put together are as equally engaging as those the English department put up for you as well. And in the same way that you study English for all five years at Oakmore School, the same is true of mathematics as well. This is the music suite in the East Building and as you can see it's been kitted out with brand new keyboards and computers and the room also enjoys lovely views of our outside seating area there. All students do music in years 7 and 8 and when you get to year 9 you can also choose to do it for Key Stage 4 so you can choose to do it in years 9, 10 and 11 as well. The East Building is also home to the Drama Department and we make our way now into the main theatre space. This is where we have our assemblies but it's also where we have our performances and we can seat up to 320 people in this space. So if you're performing on the stage as you can see there, it gives you a real sense of what it is like to perform to a large live audience. We are in our dining hall now, which is open at break and lunch times. And from the serving area, you can buy hot and cold food and drinks. There's a different range of foods available each day for you to buy. This is one of our science laboratories where you will do lots of exciting experiments. The science department is housed on the ground floor and the first floor of the south building and all the rooms are laid out in a similar way with the circular tables which are perfect for the experiment activity, the practical activities and you'll do science for all five years while you're at Oakmore School. You will study physics, chemistry and biology. Further down the corridor in the South Building is the Art Department. This room is laid out for our Year 10 lessons at the moment. And as you can see, the tables are spaced apart with tape on the floor, marking the two metre areas for the students. And all the resources have been removed from the room as well. So this will look very different when we return in September. And you can also study photography at GCSE level in the Art Department. Finally, we make our way into the West Building on the right hand side as you enter are the boys changing rooms and the girls changing rooms are on the left hand side. The West Building houses all of our indoor sports facilities and we start our journey inside the sports hall, which is an absolutely fantastic space. And as you can see by all those different line markings on the floor, those different colored line markings on the floor, we offer a very large range of different sports that you can learn in your five years with us. And as you can also see, the cricket nets on the wall there as well for indoor cricket. The West Building also houses our professional dance studio with a fully sprung floor, a wall mirror, the length of the room, and the ballet bar as well that runs alongside it. We also do table tennis in this space and you can see the table tennis tables there stacked up on the right hand side.
And that concludes the virtual tour of Oakmore School. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I hope it's been useful for you. And most importantly of all, we really look forward to you joining us in September. But until then, enjoy the summer holiday and take care.